All right, so let's do some diagrams for mirrors. And mirrors are really similar to lenses. So our three principal rays, and we're doing ray diagrams for mirrors, right? It's still parallel through the focal point, focal point out parallel, right? These two are just the opposite of each other. And then the third one is straight through the center, right? But on a mirror, it's a little bit different. So on a mirror, imagine like a spherical mirror that kind of looks like this. If I aim straight at the middle, that part of the mirror is basically a flat mirror, right? Like if I zoom in to a mirror like this, if I took a real like super telephoto camera lens and zoomed in right there, right? It'd be flat. So what's going to happen is it's kind of like the ray diagram or the ray on the lens where you went straight through the middle. But instead of coming out the back, it's not going to come out the back, right? Because it's a mirror and it reflects light. So what's going to happen is it's going to bounce off at the same angle. So theta in is going to equal theta out, right? It's basically just the law of reflection for plane mirrors. So first two rays are the same, right? Again, I don't even draw ray two. You can always get away with drawing ray one and ray three. But the third one, when it reflects, is going to have to make that same angle. Okay, so let's do a couple. So here's my first one. I'm going to draw all three rays for this converging mirror that's outside of the focal point. There's my three principal rays, right? So again, I can only draw one in ray one and ray three if I want to, but I drew ray two. So ray one, parallel, hits the vertex right there, comes out through the focal point. Ray two is the opposite. Through the focal point, hits, comes out parallel, right? And you can already see after two rays where it meets. And then ray three, I try to draw it as best I could so that angle is the same as that angle. And if you get it, your image is going to be right there. Because remember where the rays cross, that's where you draw the tip of the arrow, and the base of the arrow is always on the line. And so this is a real image, and you should be able to tell that, right? Because this is an inverted image, All right? Real versus virtual. Real ones are upside down. Virtuals are inverted. All right, so let's, uh, I'm going to skip that one. Well, you know what? Let's, let's do the case of inside the focal point first, and then we'll look at a special case. So here's the focal point of my mirror, and now my image is inside of it. So let's look what happens when you do that. All right, so you can see on this one, right, here's ray one, parallel through the focal point. Ray two I skipped because I'm inside the focal point, right? I can't go through the focal point. I mean, you could if you wanted to. You could draw through there and out, right? But I'm not going to do that. And then ray three, I did my best to try to draw those two angles the same, right? And so you can see these two rays, they diverge on this side of the mirror. So that means they must converge somewhere. So if they're diverging over here, they got to be converging on the other side. And you can see there's a point right about there where they meet. And so that's going to be where my image is. So you get a magnified image. And this has to be a virtual image because it's right side up, right? So you get a magnified virtual image. So again, outside the focal point, this is just like lenses, right? Outside the focal point, I got a real image. Inside the focal point, I got a virtual image, just like with a converging lens. So if you remember when we did a converging lens, when we were right on the focal point, there was no image, right? Let's see if that works with a mirror. So I'm going to put, here's my focal point. I'm going to put an arrow right there. And let's draw the ray diagram when I'm sitting right on the focal point. So in this case, I couldn't draw a ray two at all because it's on the focal point. I couldn't even use any tricks, right? But again, you see, just like when we did a lens. If I'm sitting right on the focal point, these two rays are parallel. That means they never cross. So you get no image, right? Ugh, I can't even write when you're at the focal point. This is true for both converging mirrors and converging lenses. Okay, so now we got a diverging mirror, right? And so diverging mirrors, I'm just going to straight out tell you, diverging mirrors are same concept as a diverging lens, right? So instead of going towards the focal point, I'm going to go away from an antifocal point, right? So I'm going to draw two ray diagrams here, and then we'll look at the lines, but I'm only going to draw ray one and ray three, because I don't like ray two. All right, so 
here's ray one and ray three for both of these diverging mirrors, right? And so again, it's just like a diverging lens. You never get a real image with a diverging mirror or lens. So in both of these cases, I'm going to have virtual images, right? So here's ray one parallel, and I'm going away from the antifocal point, right? So here's the antifocal point over here. So it goes away from that. And then this one I tried to hit at the same angle, right? And you can see crosses right about there. So I get a virtual image because it's upright and it's smaller too, right? It's reduced. So here's my other one. I moved inside the focal point, but it doesn't matter because it's a diverging lens, right? So same thing, parallel away from the opposite focal point, right? You just got to remember to do opposite thing on diverging. And then here's this one. And so the, the trick I try to use is I try to set my ruler up so that I'm drawing about the same image here. So I try to put my ruler down and look at below the arrow. And that kind of helps me guide to get it right. But either way, you, ray diagrams are just a qualitative thing, right? You're just trying to tell if it's real or virtual or uh, enlarged or reduced or whatever, right? So again, this is a virtual image because it's upright. If you notice, both of these are reduced images, right? Because diverging mirrors always reduce. So again, mirrors, same thing as lenses, right? Same stuff, except your third one, now you're using the law of reflection.